So I wanted to show you my workflow for creating a basic um, teaching video using Blender. So I'm using an older version of Blender. I go straight to video editing. Then I take this region and make it instead of another graph window, I make it a file browser. I'm going to get rid of the bookmarks because I, I know where my stuff is and I tend to not need the bookmarks. I'm going to go into documents and then where I put my teaching videos and you see this is math 314 final video so this is the final video for the semester now just sorry about my face there we're gonna zoom out until I can see the whole space of the video and have just a nice uh, sort of picture of where we are and then I'm going to make the end of the video equal to this length. We're going to be changing that, but I'll make the end of the video 43149. 43149. That's the, the number that I found here. That's the length of these uh, this video clip that I took. Uh, I'm, I'm later going to modify that, but then I want to set AV sync so that this little rough window will will sync up the audio in the video and we'll see roughly what this looks like so you've all taken this class because you presumably want to get a better job when you okay whatever my hilarious monologue opening my discussion of artisanal beach balls to introduce graph theory so i've made a little thumbnail that i'll be using to introduce this video and uh, you notice that i went back i put the playhead right back at frame one and now there are other ways to do this, but the simplest way that I know how to do this is I just want to add this uh, strip. And this is some, you know, I took a picture of some plants and then I put the name of the section and the lecture on there. I did it in Adobe Illustrator. You can do it using whatever graphics program you want. But you'll notice it's kind of stretched around. It doesn't look great. So what I want to do is, first off, I'm going to make the length of this, uh, the time that this appears on here, a little bit longer. Um, so that so you've all taken this it doesn't just flash on and flash off. Next thing I want to do is, is sort of adjust the stretched look. So I'm going to hit Shift A. So I hit Shift A, and this allows me to affect this strip. Now, if I've if I've accidentally had something else selected, the Shift A would apply the change to something else. But as long as I've got that, um, as long as I've got this thing selected by right clicking it. I can hit Shift A, Effect Strip, and the strip in question is just this picture, and I'll do Transform. Now, uh, for this strip, or this um, particular picture, I'm going to hit Image Offset, and that gets rid of that distortion. Now, this, this Transform, I'm going to put Uniform Scale, and I'm just going to kind of guess here. Scale, I want to scale it up so it fills up the, the whole viewing screen here. So I'm going to make my uniform scale 1.6. Let's just see. It's pixelated a little bit. I'm, I'm not too concerned. This is you know, an educational thing. It's not necessarily the most beautiful thing in the world. And then let's shift it over a little bit. Well, that wasn't shifted over quite enough. Let's shift it over some more. So I've adjusted the X position. You'll notice it's still a little bit skewed to the left. Let's, let's scoot it over a little bit more. And this looks pretty good. It's, it's not quite there. Um, and we can play with this and try to guess about what's the exact center. Uh, but I just, I just want something that'll kind of work. Next thing I want to do is I want to include my fantabulous intro music. Now you might have some audio clip that you want to play. I have MathVid, which is just a cheesy song that I made. <clears throat> and I, 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 added that by you know dragging it in here making sure that of course my playheads at one and now let's see what I get when I hit play and you should hear a mess okay now aside from the amazingly beautiful music it was playing over me talking and I was talking too quietly so what I want to do is I want to have a little bit of intro time with this with this card and this music um, so I'm going to shift this, which is the, the, uh, the audio of me talking, I'm going to shift this over a little bit. And you'll figure out how far you want it to shift over by, you know, if I play this, how far through the song do I want to play before, you know, and, and how much time do I want to have this info card on. 
before I uh, have the the lesson start. So I feel like you know this is this is reasonable, but maybe just you know give people a couple of seconds to get in there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have it play till 300. I've just picked 300 is when I want this to to start to fade out. So what I'm gonna do at 300 is I'm gonna take, first off, I'm gonna take this and shift it over to 300, so start frame from 100 to 300. Next, I'm gonna make this, the start frame go from 100 to 300, sorry, from one to 300. But now you'll notice that this is coming off the edge, which means I'm gonna to need to make my end, whatever this is, plus 300. Now, I'm a math teacher, um, and I could do this in my head, but if it's not some nice easy number like 300 to add, you can just type this in Blender, it's great, boom, it calculates it for you. Okay, yeah, we can add 300, but but it's nice that this makes it made up right there with the end. We can zoom to the end and we see the very last frame is going to be, uh, you know, actually I'm going to pull one off of that so that the very last frame is not uh, black. Okay, so now we can see that if we you know, I, I hit the left arrow a few times to pull a few frames off the end. Let's play. And this is, again, uh, option A to, to play. And it loops around to the end. Sorry, it loops around from the end to the beginning. So um, if I watch this now, you're going to hear my amazing music. And then when this playhead reaches 300, I'm going to start talking over the music. And there's still going to be a picture. Now... To make that just a little bit cleaner, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the playhead to 300, and then I'm going to edit. This is the transform now. So here, here is the picture. Now this is the transform applied to the picture. That's that's how I got it to change shape and uh, and change size. I dilated it, moved it around. I guess I didn't change the shape. I just changed the size and location. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the blend from replace to where it's just going to replace the lower um, the lower channels. I'm going to do alpha over. And now if I set the opacity to zero, you can see my beautiful face. If I set the opacity to 0.5, you can see half and half. What I want is the opacity to be one. And then I'm going to hit shift I. And you see how this text box turned yellow. That means I've added a keyframe at 300 with the opacity at one. So now if I go to the left of 300, the opacity is 1. If I go to the right of 300, the opacity is still 1. Well, we know this thing plays till 450. So let's set the playhead to 450. And now I'm going to change the opacity to 0. And I'll set a keyframe at 0. What this does is it will linearly interpolate between those two keyframes. So as we, as we saw at 300, Opacity is 1. To the left of 300, opacity is 1. But now as I scroll forward, see this opacity value? It's going down. This is fading out of my picture and fading in the... Um, you can see my face sort of appearing behind there. So slowly, this will fade out and then my uh, lesson will take over. Well, I also want to do this with the music. So I'm going to go to the music and at uh, at 300, I want to set the volume to 1. So this is the, the full volume. Set the volume to 1, and then hit Shift-I. Now, since I just typed in the volume again, or, or re-entered the volume, when I hit Shift-I, it knew where I wanted to put the keyframe. Now, I want the, the song to fade out just as the picture fades out. So I move the playhead to 450. I set this volume to 0. Again, shift I to add a keyframe. And now watch what happens. Let's let's go back. This will jump to the previous keyframe. There are no more keyframes ahead of time, so we'll just have to key back a little ways. And watch what happens. I'm gonna hit again option A to play. So you see now the the picture fades out, the music fades out, and then my delightful dialogue fades in, or uh, comes in, doesn't fade in. However, we notice my dialogue is a little quiet. So I right click to highlight the, the sound source, the, you know, the soundtrack for my um, video, and I'm gonna make this volume a little bit louder. Let's see how it compares now. Finish school. 
So luckily I'm here. I'm, to I'm gonna move back to playhead. So you've all taken this class because you presumably want to get And I feel like my, my voice doesn't quite cut through, so I'm gonna give it just a little bit more juice. I put it at two point five. Let's let's go back to that keyframe where things start uh oops. Where things start fading out, three hundred. So you've all taken this class because you presumably want to get a better job when you And that could be uh I could make that volume louder, I could I could do a number of things, but I but for me that's good enough. So let's let's just sort of click through and make sure that this this looks like it's gonna make sense. Um and now I'm relatively happy with the video i've got i've got this uh sort of front card it's going to fade out if i wanted to fade you know if i wanted to have a break in the middle and fade another card back in i could do that i could drag in um more uh more clips more video clips more sound clips fade them in fade them out using this uh alpha over <coughs> um to, to, to do the fading, uh, and there are all sorts of other options, but that I think is, is enough to get your, your basic instructional video done. Now I'm gonna go from video editing to animation. And there are a number of things that we have to do here to make sure that we actually get a movie out. So if I just try to render this initially, I go over here to this, to this um, animation set, I'm gonna render a PNG, which is great. I'll get a beautiful image. It's not gonna be a video. So I'm gonna go to QuickTime and now with QuickTime, I've got the option to have some audio. You gotta make sure to render your audio. So I'm gonna do Apple lossless audio. And now I should be spitting out an, an actual movie, but it's gonna go to Nowheresville. It's just gonna go to this temp folder. So I need to give an explicit place to put the output. So I wanna put this in my, uh, I wanna put this in my documents. See, I said I didn't use this and then I did. Well, you know, we were a ways in there, it's fine. Uh, vid source, teaching vids, math 314, and I'll call this M314V final because this is the final video for the semester. Um, I have a nice, I guess it should be CAV2 if I was using my coding, uh, but whatever. Now I hit accept, and you notice I clicked twice, one time to get out of that dialog box and the second time to actually accept. And now if I hit animation, it should render. However, just in case there's some issue, what I'd like to do is save the, the file that I've made. So I will save the current Blender file and I'll give this a name, um, M314CAV2. Uh, save Blender file. So that's Math314 chapter A. It's, it's the extra stuff, the appendix. Um, and video number two. So save Blender file, and now when I click animate, this should start rendering, and it'll take a while to get through. We, we can see all the frames that it's going through, and when this reaches 100%, we'll have a nicely rendered video that we can post on YouTube or wherever. Thanks for watching.